Hey guys, in this video we'll be going through some practice questions on Einstein's photoelectric equation. Let's get right to it. We'll start with an easy one. First, let's look at all the constants that we're given. We will be given the value of Planck's constant, h. We will also be given hc to be used in calculations sometimes. This is a multiplication. This is a product of Planck's constant and the speed of light in vacuum, c. And then we have the conversion. 1 electron volts is 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 joules. We have the mass of an electron. And finally, we have the speed of light in vacuum on its own. With all these constants, we are going to perform the calculations. Let's start with an easy one. Let's look at number one. Calcium has a work function of 4.3 times 10 to the power of minus 19 joules. Calculate the threshold frequency for calcium. Now we have to calculate the threshold frequency with work function given. So the formula that relates the two is W is equals to H threshold frequency. Rearranging this, threshold frequency will be equals to W over H. This is a simple rearrangement. It is important to note here that the W must be in joules. The reason for this is the Planck's constant unit is in joules second. So when we substitute work function, it must be in joules. It cannot be in electron volts. So this will simply be equals to 4.3 times 10 to the power of negative 19 divided by Planck's constant, 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 34. And the answer we will get here is 6.49 times 10 to the power of 14. The units here is per second or hertz. This is a simple one. Let's go to a more complicated question. Electromagnetic waves of wavelength this, 2.2 times 10 to the power minus 7, are incident on the surface of a metal with work function, and the work function of this value. Calculate the energy of a single photon. So the formula for energy of a single photon is E equals to HF. But in this case, we do not have the frequency of the electromagnetic wave. Instead, we have the wavelength. So we have to use the variation by substituting F. We get HC over lambda. All we are doing here is we're using the wave equation and we're substituting the frequency as C over lambda. This is using V is equals to F lambda. So here, all we have to do is substitute. And here you will see we have the product HC. However, if you substitute the value of HC, let's take a look at the units of HC. Hc is electron volts nanometer. So the answer in, of energy that you will get is in electron volts. It will not be in joules. In this case, I want the answer to be in joules because you can see that we have work function in joules. So it's better to get the answer in joules, although this question doesn't specify which. So I'm going to use the answer in joules. For the answer in joules, we cannot use the product. We have to substitute individually. So substitute H h is this value 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 34 and then we substitute the value of c separately as well c is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 and we divide by the value of lambda as given in the question 2.2 times 10 to the power of negative 7 and the answer that you will get here is 9.04 times 10 to the power of negative 19 Joules. This is the energy of a single photon from the electromagnetic wave. Let's go on to the next question. The maximum kinetic energy, maximum kinetic energy of emitted photoelectrons. So now we are going to use Einstein's photoelectric equation, and that is E HF is equals to the work function plus the maximum kinetic energy of the electron of the photoelectron. So this represents the energy of the photon, which we just calculated in the question before. And W is the work function, plus the maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectron that has already escaped. And so we rearrange this maximum kinetic energy will simply be equals to energy of the photon minus the work function. So let's substitute this in. Energy of the photon, we've already calculated in the question earlier. So this is 9.04 times 10 to the power of negative 19 minus the work function. Work function is given in the question. 
which is 3.1 times 10 to the power of negative 90. So minus 3.10 times 10 to the power of negative 90. So you can see here, it is good that we got the answer in joules because if it was in electron volts, we need to do a conversion now before we can do this subtraction. And this is equal to 5.94 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joules. So this is the maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectron that has been released by the photoelectric effect. Then we go to maximum speed. Calculate the maximum speed of the emitted photoelectron. So now that we have the kinetic energy, if we just calculated earlier this one, we can find the maximum speed of the photoelectron by using the formula for kinetic energy that is half mv squared. So Ke maximum kinetic energy will be equals to 1 over 2 mv max squared, maximum velocity squared. So rearranging this again, we will get maximum velocity will be equals to the root of twice the kinetic energy twice the maximum kinetic energy divided by the mass of the electron. Remember, we're talking about the photoelectron that's already been released. So this will be equals to square root of 2 times what we found earlier here, 5.94 times 10 to the power of negative 19 over the mass of an electron. The mass of electron is given, it is a constant, so it is 9.11 here. 9.11 times 10 to the power of negative 31. So this will be 9.11 times 10 to the power of negative 31. And square root the whole thing. And the maximum velocity is 1.14 times 10 to the power of 6 meters per second. This is the maximum velocity of photoelectron that has been emitted. Let's do one more question. The maximum kinetic energy of photoelectrons emitted from the surface of a metal with an electromagnetic wave of wavelength this is incident on a metal is found to be this so we have the maximum kinetic energy and we have the wavelength calculate work function of the metal in electron volts okay whenever we are dealing with electron volts we can use the multiple hc so let's do this again we use the original equation hf equals to w plus ke max from here, all we have to do is substitution. Since they want us to calculate word function, let's make it the subject, hf minus ke max. Now, once again, in this question, we don't have the frequency. Instead, we are given the wavelength. And therefore, we would be using hc over lambda minus ke max. Let's perform this calculation. So this will be equals to, this time we can use the constant for the product of Hc because we want the answer in electron volts. So let's use the constant Hc. Hc is equals to 1.243 times 10 to the power of 3. Let's substitute that in. 1.243 times 10 to the power of 3 divided by lambda. When we're using the constant for the product of Hc, we will notice that the units are electron volts nanometer therefore the wavelength must be in nanometers and so this is already given in nanometers 3400 minus maximum kinetic energy which is given to us in the question which is this 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 20 but this is in joules so again it must be homogeneous since we are using electron volts we must convert to electron volts and the conversion from joules to electron volts will be to divide by the conversion will be given to you 1.6 this one here 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 90 electron volts to joules we multiply joules to electron volts we divide so this will be divide by 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 90 and the answer that you will get here is 0 0.253 electron volts that's it for this video guys if you enjoyed this video please do hit that like button it really does help the channel thank you very much for doing that if you like videos like this, do subscribe because I'll be producing at least one week. See you guys in the next video.